For fast, cheap, and reliable NBA 2K19 MT, visit the link down below in the description and use code MASSIVE for 5% off all orders. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. In today's video, we are going to be doing a new look. Clippers Rebuild no longer do have Tobias Harris on their team. Looks like they are kind of going for the long run. No longer trying to win now. I just saw the rumors they're maybe not making Jimmy Baller a priority in free agency this year. I don't know. I guess they want to give it a few years, get a good rebuild in, probably try to move on from Danilo Gallinari, Lou Williams. Montreal Harrell's still young enough where you can keep him, but they do have guys like Shy Gilgis Alexander. They just traded for Zubak, which is a steal in my opinion. They do have wherever the hell he is. Jerome Robinson down here, who's a 72 overall. So they do have a few nice young pieces. I don't really know if any of those pieces are ever going to be starters on a championship contender. We're going to see how this goes today. We're clearly past the trade deadline at this point, so we are no longer going to be able to make any trades. I might go on to like technically a fourth season because we really can't do anything this year, but we're currently 31 and 26. So it's kind of an interesting spot because they were, are they still like the eighth seed in the Western Conference? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they're the eighth seed in the Western Conference right now. They decided to trade their best player to the Sixers. Really wasn't much of a trade, but still, they wanted to go rebuild mode. I guess they are more than welcome to do that. So, Shai Gilgis Alexander will stay up here uh, in the NBA. I'm going to send Jerome Robinson to the G League because I think he would be better suited down there and getting minutes. So, I mean, this team is by no means bad. I don't really want to be good. I'm going to actually change Montrezl Harrell to a power forward, and I'm going to start Zubak um, at uh, center. So, Jamichael Green can get like 25 off the bench. Beverly can get 18. Ba Mute, um, he can get, okay. We don't really have a backup center right now. I don't really care that much though. Wilson Chandler probably going to be bought out. How old is Tyrone Wallace? 24, Thorn Rell is 24. Landry Shamet, they also picked up. He's not horrible. I mean, I might send him to the league. So I'm gonna try to progress a bunch of these guys. Lou Will's more of a six man. Um, but he's obviously not playing that here. So we're going to go 35 to these two. And I guess I'll just give a 30. No, I'll give a 34th to Gallinari. So can I send Shemet to the G League? Uh, no, I cannot. How many? He has more years on his contract, though. Um, I'm going to call up Jonathan Motley or just release him. Yeah, I'm just going to release him to free agencies. Hopefully gives us a spot. No, it doesn't. Okay, maybe I have to sign a free agent. Where am I going? Uh, free agents right here. Oh, Enos Canner's here. Can't afford him, but it would have been a nice deal. Uh, Zach Randolph's here. Zagor Tot is here. He's a free agent. Um, we'll just sign Tyler Zeller. We need a backup center anyway. So Tyler Zeller, welcome to the team. And now I'm going to go ahead and send Stramet to the G League. And Zeller honestly could get some minutes. Um, I think I'm going to give him minutes over Luke Mbamute, who doesn't really need these minutes. And we can just have a backup center in the rotation. So Zeller is all the way down here. Um, he is going to end up probably actually getting more minutes. Yeah, he's going to get 15. This rotation is what it is. We honestly could end up anywhere from like the third worst team in the NBA to staying as the eighth seed in the Western Conference. I don't really know how this is going to go. Hopefully we turn out bad and get a better pick and I'll see you guys at the action. Do we even have our first round pick? I can't even tell right now. Uh, I know there is a way to tell. Uh, where is it under? I feel like it should be under front office. The news. No, there's like a history pick. I don't know. I can't find it right now, but... We'll figure it out at the end of the year, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. So we ended the first season going 42-40. and 40. Not sure if that was good enough for a playoff spot. We honestly could end as the ninth seed and just be in a horrible position. Uh, Harden MVP, Doncic, Dinwiddie, Davis, Buddy Heald, and Kerr. So we obviously don't get any awards, and we actually end up not making the playoffs. So looks like the other LA team, the Lakers, just ended up beating us out, and they did by one game. So not the end of the world. We're officially in the lottery. Maybe we can get lucky. I highly doubt it. Lou will let us in scoring. Hopefully that trade value is high. He's 32. Not going to match up with our timeline. Gnall and our... Yeah. Gallinari will be moved as well. Harrell, not bad. Shy Gilgis, maybe could have sent him to the G League. We don't really have another point guard, though. So this team is not in great shape at all right now. I mean, I understand moving Tobias Harris. He probably wasn't re-signing with you. You really didn't get a ton of assets. I honestly don't know if they got a first-round pick out of it. I Maybe it was like, did they get the Thunder pick, or was that a different trade? Maybe they got that Thunder pick. I'm not Or maybe that was the Markel Fultz trade. I'm, I got confused with all the trades, but still... Tobias Harris was probably your way into the playoffs, if we're being totally honest. I doubt they're going to probably end up with a positive record this year, but I also don't think that they're going to get that good a pick in the draft, unless, of course, they win the lottery, but the lottery's like 98% chance it's rigged. So that's probably not going to happen. It's going to be a Raptors-Warriors finals this year, and I'm guessing the Warriors are going... Actually, it's 2-2, not bad. Warriors end up winning in six. Steph Curry, 30 points a game, nine assists, the finals MVP. So, let's head into the offseason. Um, I think it's probably about time Doc Rivers gets fired. Yeah, um, he's just never, he left the Celtics because he didn't want to be part of a rebuild. And I don't ever think he's made it out of the first or second round. So 
We are going to be hiring a whole new staff. Um, assistant GM, I'll just go Owen Masters. Head coach, um, I will take Stafford just because he has pretty good ratings right here. Um, Trent Peterson, you want to be my assistant coach. Scout, I'll go James Graham. Please tell me there's an A trainer here. Thank God, Randy Martin. And hopefully we can get all these guys and we do. So a whole new staff here in LA. We're going to head up to the draft right now, see what pick we end up as. And it's the 14th. Okay. So we clearly didn't get lucky. Jerome Robinson's a 74 overall. Shemetta 76. Um, well, I have to start off by moving to Nilo Gallinari. Um, if I don't get any offers for a pick, I'll probably end up trading him manually. So we can get the seventh overall pick. That's not bad. I would maybe like to see if we can move up a little bit more to like pick like four or five or something like that. But it really does depend who has it. So who owns like pick four right now? It's the Bulls. I feel like I can definitely get this to go through. Two first for Otto Porter. I'm not, Otto Porter and Gallinari are just, no. Uh, I'm not doing that. Um, two seconds, they want two first again for Otto Porter. That's not happening. Um, I know I have some bad players down here. Not really. I mean, Robinson, I just have a bunch of young players. There's a lot of expiring deals in this team. Uh, I'm not giving you Lou Will for that. I will give you, I'll just keep giving you a bunch more seconds. They want a first for Otto Porter. Ah, I just can't do that. It's, I mean, it's weird. Like, Otto Porter has more value than that first. They're not interested. All right, we're going to try this with pick five. Um, I don't really want to take on Otto Porter's contract. I just don't. So who has the fifth overall pick? It is going to be the Phoenix Suns for Gallinari. And I'll also give you these two seconds right here. They don't want to do that. And how about if I just give you a few more seconds? I'm going to try to avoid... Okay, so maybe they got this 2021st for Tobias Harris. I'm going to try to avoid giving up any first right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. All right, how much trade value does Jerome Robinson have? His two stars. Okay. If I'm going to include him, I feel like I should actually try to move up to, like, number three or two. The Cavs don't have any cap space. Um, who has the third overall pick? It's the Hawks. Oh, the Hawks actually seriously valid value Gallinari. They want a first for Alex Len. That is the third overall pick, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're going to do this trade, I guess. And we now have the third overall pick along with 14. And I'll see you guys rookie signing. So I ended up taking RJ Barrett third overall. Went Zion, then John Morant, and then I took him at three. And then Bull Bull, who is a 74 overall, I ended up nabbing at pick 14. Hopefully, he can turn into something decent for us. I'm going to bring both back. Uh, I'm going to bring back both those guys and probably end up moving both of them. We also just picked up Alex Len. I just, again, don't really think he's going to fit on this team. I'll send him to Philly for another first round pick. And now hopefully I can get some sort of first for Thornwell and Wallace. And I wouldn't mind maybe throwing Robinson and Shemet in some sort of trade. Maybe ending up getting something decent for them. So we send them to, I think, Atlanta for a Cleveland pick. Lou Will is also an option here to move, as well as Jerome Robinson and Landry Shemet. Let's just see what sort of offers we get. Zach Levine and Otto Porter is not bad. Um, Kevin Knox and Dennis Smith Jr. It's not horrible. DeMar DeRozan and Deontay Murray. That is a pretty tempting offer. I do get DeMar a decent amount, though. Um, let me see. Let me see what I can do here. I'm in need of a small forward, a power. I mean, I wouldn't mind starting Bull Bull at center. I would prefer probably to have him be my backup. Let's just look at power forward slash center to start us off. See if there's anybody here not making a ton of money. Like, is there any way I can maybe get, where is he? He is, where the hell? Oh, DeAndre Aiden, right here. Does have a little bit of trade value. Um, I will also give you, where is he? Um, Jerome Robinson and Landry Shamet, who actually has two and a half star trade value. He's untouchable. All right. Yeah, this probably isn't going to happen ever. All right. Well, it was worth a try. Um, Canner Sabonis. Yeah, there's really nobody here. Like, Markinen, maybe. What did he put up last year? What were his stats? I mean, that's not horrible. Jared Allen. You know what? Jaron Jackson Jr. would actually not be that bad for Lou Will. And I'll also give you... I don't get Jaron Jackson Jr. a ton. I'll also give you Jerome Robinson. And I'll give you Shemet just because he's never going to turn into anything on this team. Landry Shemet, and they can't even afford that. And I'll give you this Philly first. And my, not the Cleveland first, that looks valuable. And the Heat pick. Oh, boy. And the, my pick in 2022. And do I have anybody else that I'd probably be willing to give up? Not really. All right. That's a lot. That's just kind of a lot. There's no trade offers anyways. Um, all right, let's go to small forwards. Let's just see if there's anybody here not making a ton of money. Anyway, possible, probably never going to happen in a million years. Yeah, I didn't think so. No offers. Tatum's probably the same way. God damn, man. All right. I guess I'm going to be keeping them both for now. I mean, I'll look one more time for an offer. I doubt I'm really going to get anything better. How about if I just do these three? I mean, I saw DeRozan. It's nice. Zach Levine is also nice. I do have a starting shooting guard already, though. Kevin Knox. 
I mean, I'm getting some decent offers. Don't get me wrong. This is like a really good offer, and it's hard to pass up. But I just get DeRozan so much, man. Uh, I could go Donkey and get Draymond Green, but do I really want to give all this up for Draymond Green? I mean, you know what? I actually haven't gotten Draymond in a minute. Is there any way I can do less than this? I feel like I definitely should be able to do less. Lou Will for Draymond Green. They want Landry Schmidt for Damian Jones. Um, how about if instead I'll give you this Philly pick? They want two unprotected. Okay, and they'll give me a first. Makes no sense, but Draymond Green's now on this team. So, that's not bad. Uh, Vika Zubak I would like to bring back. I'm going to have kind of a log jam at center depending on what I do. So, we have one, two, three, four. Um, I definitely probably want to move both those guys. I'm so small forward. I also have Montrezl Harrell. Actually, if I include all three of these guys in a trade, I probably should be able to get a decent small forward. So, let me look at some offers there. Shemet Robinson and Harrell. I mean, I also could play Draymond at small forward. Don't get me wrong. That's a pretty nice offer. Bridges, healed, faults. So I'm getting some similar offers to the ones I was getting before. CJ McCollum is not bad as well. Actually, you know what? I could go CJ McCollum and then play RJ Barrett at small forward. And I think I'm going to do that. We need a good scorer on this team. So let's play RJ Barrett at small forward. And I think, I mean, this team is pretty much all set at this point. We just kind of need, I guess I could start like Bull Bull or Zach Collins at center. But do I really want to do that? Um, so if we get an, I mean, if we see a better point guard, I'll probably go after him. Like maybe I'll make a bid for Kyrie or Kemba just because Shai Gilgis is probably not going to develop that well. So Kyrie is here. I'm going to give him an offer. I don't know if he'll accept it or not. Uh, he, okay. Well, Kyrie is going to accept our offer. So that's always good. And Kyrie Irving is now on this team. Do I have to renounce the rights on Zubak? It looks like I do unless I have somebody down here. All right. It's fine. I see the cap room. It's got to stay positive. So, well, Kyrie Irving is now a clipper. Hopefully never have to say those words in real life. But, yeah, he's going to be our new starting point guard. It's been a minute since I've gotten him, so he's back on the team. So let me just see how many players we have right now. We currently have, if this ever wants to load, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm probably going to start Bull Bull at center and just see how he can do. So I'm going to get a backup small forward, power forward, and just see how we can do from here. So let's see, small forward options. I mean, Bull Bull is not the greatest. I mean, 74 overall is kind of a rough one. Um, Wilson Chandler. Ugh. Beverly, I could bring back and then possibly trade. Um, who else could I bring back? Good Cortot. Jamichael Green, I could also pay. So let's see if I can get both these guys back. We get Jamichael Green and we get back Beverly as well. No, we don't. Okay. Um, anybody here like Trevor Booker? You know, let's try to get Cortot, who actually should have a decent amount of trade value. So we get them back. Okay. So I'm going to try to move Jamichael Green, Cortot, and Zach Collins. See if I can get a better starting center. Um, there actually is somebody I kind of have in mind here. And collectively, I think I actually should be able to get him. So let me see. It's Yusuf Nurkic. Where is he? He should be down here. Who I don't actually get a ton. He's an 86 overall. Only has three star in trade value for Jermichael Green. And I'll also throw you Marcin. Actually, I'll... Th hmm. I guess I'll give you Gortat as well. And, I mean, honestly, I'll give you Zach Collins. Um, I'll actually give you Collins instead. And I'll give you this first from, not the Heat in 2020. I'll give you this Warriors pick. Uh, and my pick in 2022. Okay, they agree to that. So Yusuf Nurkic is going to be our center. It's just going to be a little bit of an upgrade. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to trade Gortat for either a backup power forward or small forward. Let's just see what I offers I do get. Uh, Gortat, we're also going to do two seconds. Power forward or small forward. Let's just see some offers like Ersan Eliasova. Aaron Baines, Okay. At the moment, it looks like I'm going to be taking Ersan Ilyasova. Jakob Pertl, actually, we're going to pick up. I'm going to move him down to power forward. So I think the team is almost all set. I probably should sign one more guy at a free agency. Pertl is a 79 overall at small forward. I'm going to sign, or at power forward, I'm going to sign some sort of small forward. Actually, I'm going to sign Tony Allen, and then hopefully you'll be able to trade him for a better small forward. Sorry, this is taking forever. Like, this is taking way longer than I thought it would. But come on, let's load, let's load. Uh, Tony Allen does go up at small forward. If he wasn't 37 and I knew he wasn't going to regress, I'd probably honestly keep him just because he's a really good defender, but I know he's going to regress. Star and a half. Thabo Cephalos is 35 fucking years old. Derek Jones Jr., welcome to the team. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. So we're actually going to make this trade with the Utah Jazz, sending the Draymond two first and Jakob Pertl. Do I have to include Jakob Pertl? Um, Clippers would require Mill more. I would rather give up somebody different. Like, can I give up, like, Shane Larkin instead? And you can give me your least paid player, which is Royce O'Neal. And I still can't go through. God damn it. I don't really want to give up Pirtle. That kind of sucks that I would have to do that. All right. You know what? I'm going to do it for now. Um, I'm going to start. Where is he? Uh, where is he? Rudy Gobert. It's, I don't really want to give up Bianca Pirtle, which just blows. Um, Nurkic is seven foot. 
potentially could play power forward. Just don't know if I ever see him really fitting as a power forward on this team because I do need some scores. Um, I'm not really getting any decent offers here for any big men. I kind of thought this whole team was going to be the way it is, but I just can't deal. Like, Draymond was legitimately an 84 overall power forward. So, I'm going to give Nurkic a season at power forward. We're kind of going full twin towers here with two pretty legitimate centers um, at power forward and center. So, Shai Gilgis is going to be our sixth man. Derek Jones Jr., 18. This bench is not really that good. Hopefully, they can be better after this year. Um, I guess Royce O'Neal will get minutes as well. Kyrie is going to be getting 35. McCollum, 34 as well. Where in the world are all my minutes? Okay. Eight, oh, here they are. Adrian Payne, you're not playing. Neither is Garrett Temple. Okay, there we go. Um, so 35 here. RJ Barrett's going to end up getting 34. Yusuf Nurkic, 33. 30, actually, we'll go 34, 34. And I'll just give a 35th to McCollum. So that is going to be the rotation for season number two. Kyrie Irving, CJ McCollum, RJ Barrett, Yusuf Nurkic, and Rudy Gobert. Off the bench, Shai Gilgis, Derek Jones, Bull Bull, and Royce O'Neal. So hopefully this team can be decent. The bench does kind of suck. I'm hoping we can maybe be a top five seed in the West. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. So we have a pretty good second year. So we go 60 and 22, Curry, MVP, John Moran. Holy fucking hell. Whoa. <laughs> um, does win rookie of the year on the Cavs. Culver, six man, Giannis, Marvin Bagley, and Brett Brown does get coach of the year, even though we are better. So we end as the one seed in the Western Conference. I will absolutely take it. Best record in the NBA. Didn't really expect that. Player stats leading your legends going by Kyrie, then McCollum. Pretty good backcourt. Yusuf Nurkic, double-double. I'll take Barrett, not bad. Go Bear, Shai Gilga. I mean, it seems kind of coming together and being a lot better than I honestly thought they would, but I'll take it. Uh, taking on the Pelicans in the first round, probably still have Anthony Davis, but I think at this point we're probably a whole lot better. You will not be doing that. Can you get over there, please? Uh, in the next round, we're taking on the Houston Rockets. We're up 1-0 on them. We're tied at one game apiece. I mean, James Harden and Chris Paul, I mean, it's a pretty good matchup of backcourts. We have Kyrie and CJ. We're 2-2 with them right now. 3-2. And can we win in six, please? Oh, come on. We're going to a game seven. I'm not hopping in anyways, no matter what. I just, I think this team kind of overdid it in the regular season. I don't really think we're that good. Kind of showing in the playoffs a little bit. But we're going to end up winning this game. And we're going on to face the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, in the Western Conference Finals, they beat the Warriors in seven games, which is not an easy task. I mean, I did take Donkey from them and then traded him. But we're down 2-1. 2-2. Can we please win? Come on. Down 3-2. I'm not hopping in anyways. We're going to a game seven. I'll sim cast it. It doesn't really matter. Not going to be stopping. We're currently winning, and now we're losing rather quickly. And it looks like we're going to end up losing this one. So... Unfortunately, we cannot go to the finals in the first year. It's going to be the 76ers and the Thunder. And the 76ers are going to win in seven. And Ben Simmons, finals MVP. They are up 3-0, then lost three straight. So we're going into the third and final year. I don't really think I need to make any adjustments here. Um, Yeah, you're fired just because I need three untapped potentials. Sign a new trainer, and we're good. So let's head up to the draft. I don't know if any of these picks really turned into anything. We have the 22nd overall pick from the Cavs. I'm just going to send this for Philly for a future first thought that was going to be a lot more valuable than it ended up. can you not do that please in the background background no you're not in it but do not do it um so we're going up to team player options i'm going to probably make a trade or two and i'll see you guys once i have that trade all right so i just ended up so, er, accepting shy gilgis's um team option and i don't really think there's much more we can do i mean maybe barrett but i don't really know what offers i would get for him we don't really have a ton of money hachimura yeah there's really nothing here that makes us that much better all the have to give nurkic you got randall yeah, nothing here. So I'm going to keep Barrett probably unless I sign a con or some sort of free agent. So let's see. Currently, Derek Jones Jr. is a free agent. I mean, I wouldn't actually mind paying this man like a lot of money and then end up throwing him in a trade with, um, where the hell his name is? RJ Barrett. Because I'm paying him a lot of money. It's like almost the scale of like a max contract. And then I know it's ridiculous. I'm not keeping him on the $23 million deal. I can promise you that. Um, I could bring back Draymond, Kevin Knox, D'Angelo Russell. Um, so I'm getting some better offers now. Bradley Beal, neither him or McCollum could really play small for it. So I'm going to look, see what I, options I have, and I'll see you guys once I have that trade. Well, I tried to get Clay Thompson every way I could, and it's not working. So we're just going to pick up Jimmy Butler and just end it. So... Jimmy Butler is going to be my small forward. This team is really good at this point. Let's see. We have one. Do we also got Reggie Jackson? Uh, and I signed these two for pretty much no reason at this point. So um, I'm going to be trading Bazemore and Matthews for a backup power forward. Jesus Christ. I have way too many players. Um, 
Yeah, I guess we're going to go power forward. And I honestly don't even know what I'm going to do with the rest of them. Actually, who has the most trade value? Probably Reggie Jackson, Kent Bazemore, and Wesley Matthews. Just give me some sort of power forward, please. Of course, we have one fucking offer. Please give me some sort of power forward. Nicole Miritich qualifies. I think we're pretty much all set at this point. One, two, three, four. Well, all right. Wesley Matthews is getting traded for, and we're going to trade Wesley Matthews, Bruno Fernando, and a first. For a different backup shooting guard, Wesley Matthews, Bruno Fernando, I don't know who you are. And this heat first for a different backup shooting guard. Please just give me somebody, for the love of God. Tyreek Evans, that's the best I can get. I'll take Mikel Bridges. If Jack was here, he'd love it, but he's not here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. God damn it. I'll see you guys at the start of third and final year. So this is going to be the rotation for the third and final year. Kyrie Irving, CJ McCollum, Jimmy Butler, Yusuf Nurkic, and Rudy Gobert off the bench. Chai Gilgis, Nikola Meritich, Bull Bull, and Miles, or Mikel Bridges, not Miles Bridges. So. Bench is decent, got a little bit better. Starting lineup's obviously a whole lot better, but this team better win us a championship, and I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. So at the end of season number three, we go 64-18, and 18, best record yet. Harden MVP, Lankford, was he in the G League? Guessing so. Schroeder, Davis, Sexton, Mike Stafford does finally get a coach of the year, so guessing we're the one seed if this game ever wants to load. Yes, taking on Dallas in the first round. We have the best record in the NBA. Yes, we did by far. So season stats on the year, Kyrie, McCollum, Butler, Nurkic, Gilgis, Go Bear. I'm hoping this team can be really solid and win us a championship. I mean, I don't really know what else it takes. We have borderline, I mean, what, four, maybe five All-Stars in the starting lineup, I guess. Um, but we end up sweeping the Mavericks in the first round. The Warriors are a force. I mean, they don't have Clay. They don't have Draymond. I don't know if they have Kevin Durant. Um, they do have Durant still. Okay. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's just really the two of them. So... We are up 1-0 on them. I probably maybe should have made a bid to go after Kevin Durant in the first year. I just didn't really assume he was going to sign with us. But we are up 3-0, and we're going to sweep them. Okay. Taking on the Houston Rockets here in the Western Conference Finals. Winner of that will take on the Celtics or the Sixers. We're up 1-0 on Houston. They tied up one game apiece. Just please just don't do this to me right now. We can win. I know we can. 3-1. Please put me in the NBA Finals. 3-2, don't do it. Just don't do it. Thank you. Taking on the Celtics. They don't have Kyrie. Tatum, Adams. Brown, what in the fuck? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure we should be able to win. They don't have their best player anymore. So we're up one. Oh, seriously. I'm not doing this with this game right now. 3-0, or 3-1, excuse me. And there we go. We win in five. And Kyrie Irving balls out on his former team and wins finals MVP. So yeah, this was the new look. Los Angeles Clippers rebuild. If you have any other video ideas, I'll probably do a new look Grizzlies rebuild tomorrow or something like that. Please leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter. Link is always in the description. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.